Let's make the impossible possible. We're gonna try. It's all right. Battlefield 2042, right? <laughs> right. I just forgot the name of the game. Where do I want to start? So, right. First off, I have the Steam version of this game. If you have the Origin version, which you've added as a non-Steam shortcut, so the config is uploaded to the community. But if you have the Origin version, which you've added as a non-Steam shortcut, rename your shortcut to the Steam Store URL ID for Battlefield 2042, 1517290. <laughs> but yeah, I'll this will the description instructions will all be in the description of the video. Now. You've got the profile, you want to use it. Options, controller. Change all of these to custom. Every single one. Because the problem is there is a mixed input bug and it's this. It's this right trigger that will bring up chat. It's supposed to only do it in menus, but it's it's a mixed input bug that if it senses mouse movement at the same time as the right trigger, it'll pull up the chat window, which is incredibly frustrating. It seems to mainly happen in vehicles, but we're just going to flush that whole thing out. So change all those to customs, to custom. Go to edit controller mappings. Now in here, there we see right trigger. So I'm going to click on that, hold start, clear it out. You're going to do that for every single one. Chat, cleared out. Like these are already cleared. So you're going to do common, on foot, gunner, vehicle, transport, pilot. You don't have to go into these subcategories. Like this, this was also confusing me. They just changed all of this this morning from a patch. So this is all a little different than how it had been and could possibly be different by the time you end up seeing this. But you don't have to go into these, it's all going to be in general. So go through, remove chat. Okay. That will allow you to use mixed input to its maximum potential. You'll be able to... You want to keep right trigger as right trigger so you have throttle for transport vehicles. So the other thing that I have done to make flying feel a little better is go to pilot, movement, delete, left stick, yaw left, yaw right, and change it to roll left, roll right. Now this is kind of a personal preference, but I feel like it is going to work a lot better because what we're going to do is also change the mouse. So the mouse is yaw left and right is basically yaw and pitch instead of roll and pitch which I don't like so delete that change it to that that is all for the key binding changes on the controller now the other thing for the controller controller tuning this is just personal preference I would change center dead zone take that to five Yeah, I'm not using the right stick, but actually, I want to do, yeah, that. Because it can feel a little unruly as a pilot, so I'm going to keep that left stick at 10. Okay, the other thing. It's, uh, it's a lot of work for a Battlefield game, so... So mouse sensitivity, I put up to 35 for infantry, 45 for vehicles... I think it's also down here. Yeah, pilot. Invert vertical look off. This will make gyro feel much better, and we won't have to make a separate action layer for piloting. So invert vertical look off for pilot. I put the helicopter control assist on, just so that's like if you stop, you'll hover, which... I'm not playing this game for realism, so I'm fine with that. I have to keep looking over at my notes because there's so much. Edit key bindings. Change the category up at the top to pilot. 
then go to movement. So here is where I changed delete mouse move from roll right, roll left, add it to yaw right, yaw left. Whew, and boy, that is it. So let's hop in just so I can show it all. As a, a, a neither here nor there, just observation, like this game, it's rough, but I do always have a soft spot for uh, Battlefield. What do I, uh, I want to switch? I want to hop into a vehicle right away just to show you. Just because that was sort of the the main thing about key binding changes. So you can see I have nice gyro up and down. I tilt back to pull up, push forward, nose down. Left pad, throttle down, throttle up, roll, roll. Allied forces attacking Alpha One. We have secured Alpha One. All right, so I want to just land. So I'm not going to spend too much time going over all of this. Um, just some of the real, like, feature things. So this... This is a new battlefield thing where you have sprint. Hey, control sector Charlie. Twice is your traversal sprint. You can change that in the settings too, but let me first. To start securing sectors. Enemy has majority yep, control. you need to shut the hell up while I'm talking. My house, my rules. But one benefit of the outer ring binding on Touchpad, would, this would be a perfect example, like, you can't really do this on the sticks. I can just tap, tap twice, and then I'm doing my traversal sprint. Or I could push forward, edge off, push forward again. That feels really nice. Uh, weapon customization is hold bumper. I added this, uh, the right pad. Right pad is just face button taps, so you can easily do that. Uh, oh, I'm going to need a different gun. I need a gun with more customization on it. Okay. So here you can see I can just easily tap back and forth. You can move while you're doing that. But I wanted to show... So left trigger, full pull... Just a regular, like, click, let go, click, let go, is switching between sights. Left trigger, full pull, hold, flick up, reload. Left trigger, full pull, hold, flick down, is fire mode. You can see it's switching. Single. Uh, burst. Full. Full pull. Up. Pull, pull regular, switch. Just to, to demonstrate that. Um, what else? What else? What else is peculiar? We got gr grips, jump, crouch, respectively. Um, right pad is edge click, D pads for every for a full D pad, and then middle click. So you can switch to your... Yeah, I just want to... I actually hadn't tested that. So you can full pull, which is a hip fire. So it bypasses the aim. And then it's switching. Or flick down, which is the same as click down. Um... The only other thing, I guess, worth mentioning is 
I added this call down menu to left stick click. Oh, it doesn't close it. You gotta be out. The reason I did that is that, see that feels the two bumpers feels fussy sometimes. Now that could be because I have an action layer going on. I don't know. It's also a personal preference. I just never really like holding both bumpers for for something like that. It, it, I don't like it. And the reason I did that is because you stop your movement anyways while you're in this menu. So it's not like it's something that you're going to be doing while you're on the move. What are you doing? Get out of here. So yeah, it's because it's like it's not like this menu where you're still moving around. You stop completely and can't move while you're in this. So I just put it on that left stick click. And I think that is probably it. Yeah, I mean everything else is pretty simple. I just select and start. Okay. So those both have a double press. Double press is show chat if you want to. If you want it. Double press start is bring up the keyboard. Why does that feel so sluggish? Ugh. Will that send it? Yeah. So yeah, you got that if you need it. Mm, yeah, I think that I think that's it. If you're just looking for pure gameplay, um, I streamed it yesterday. I'll probably stream it later today. This I wanted to try to keep a little bit on the short side, which it clearly isn't because I had a little too much to go over. But it's feeling pretty good. I'm liking it. Mixed input is working. Um, yeah, and that's it. Really do that. That feels really nice. And then the flick up to reload. Mm. Yeah, I dig it. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the refreshment corner now. Corn dogs.